Hello, I present a comparison of bike and YC512 and the newest Sparktool 2.3 Truing Stand. Both compact in a solid cardboard boxes with almost identical dimensions. After assembled, it turns out that they also have a very similar constructions and sizes. With bike hand you will get a set of hex keys, knobs, legs with mounting screws and a very short instruction card. In much better secured park tool you will find separately packed replaceable tips, adapters for true axles, knobs, priceless sticker and very nice instruction manual. I will not bore you with their detailed description, I'll go straight to pros and cons that I discovered. The first big advantage of bike hand are included legs mounted with four screws. Thanks to them it's standing by itself. Park tool requires buying expensive, large, plastic base or making custom one. And here is my new invention. I made a hybrid. I present Park Hand Truing Stand. The undeniable advantage of Park tool is its adjustment range. It will fit halves with a spacing of over 200 mm, and it's possible to center the wheels on it without having to remove the tire. Bike hand barely accommodates standard 148 boost hubs and there is no way to straighten the wheel with tire. Both stands are power coated. Park tool obviously had to be blue, so to better see the edges of the rim, adjustable arm has a white sticker that already has a bubble inside. In my opinion, bike hand chose better way and painted whole arm white. I guess it's obvious which method will last longer. With the newest version of Park Tool, I got special adapters for hubs with true axles. Of course, instead you can use an ordinary axle on which the wheel turns. Also new is the speed knob adjuster, controlling the upright arms. Both tools are very well made, there is nothing to complain about their quality and they will certainly work for a long time. But the strong point of American company is that parts for their tools are always available, so if I want to rebuild my stand in 20 years, I will have no problem with that. I'll also add that both stands need a little calibration right out of the boxes. One annoying detail I did not like are the ends of the springs in Park Tool. There was no such a problem in much cheaper bike hand. And speaking about money, bike hand cost about 150 euro, to bike park tool you need 380. To sum it up, in my opinion it looks like this. Pluses of bike hand are price, quality and the fact that it stands by its own. Downsides are problem with wider hubs and the inability to center the wheel with tire. Advantages of park tool are Possibility to repair and center every wheel even with tire, true axles adapters and replaceable tips. As a disadvantages, I will consider high price, lack of base, cheap white sticker and sharp spring sands. At this price level, I have really high expectations. Which one is better for you? You have to choose by yourself. I stay with Park Tool and I don't regret it.
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments. And if you like the video, drop a like and subscribe my channel, where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!